indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to talk about Apple quite a bit here, folks, but I first wanted to bring to your attention the chart of the Russell 2000. Uh, it's very important because it's making its first symmetrical AB equals CD pattern at the 50% retracement. It's the only index that is up today. But as you look at this, you can see here we have the lower tops in here, and the 382s for many years, and then we broke this, many months, I mean, and when we broke it to the upside here today, we got up to the 50%, which is the target, which was the ABCD pattern that we've been following. So if you wanted a short one at a good price, this would be the one to take a look at because you don't have to miss, miss a risk very much from this level. Okay, folks, I mentioned before that I did watch this video about these Apple products, but we're going to take a look at Apple uh, from a long term. We're going to go back a year and a half here and just show you the chart of Apple and just give you an idea because it, it really follows the, the ABCD phenomenon. You can see here on this long term uh, weekly here the beautiful ABCD pattern down here at this level here, this 126. And now, of course, we went up and we've made a new high. But what we need to do is, we, as we're making a new high here, we really need to get down to the nitty-gritty and see how it's made this new high, because I think that's uh, very, very important. As we look at this, over a period of the last five or six months, we'll get this chart up so you'll be able to see it here pretty quickly. You'll be able to see it right here, and uh, you'll see we went right up. The number we were looking for was uh, 185. We talked about that yesterday. I believe the high was 186. We're a little bit lower than that right now. You can see that it's backed off, uh, backed off a little bit. But uh, that's just a you know short-term phenomenon. But what we have to remember is we're looking at Apple here over the past. Uh, I want to get this up because this is from uh, uh, from eSignal, but it's a really neat chart and blow it up so we can all see it a little better here. This is talking about a pattern that you don't see very often, which is an outside reversal pattern. In other words, you go up and you take out the highs of the previous two days, and then you take out the lows of the previous two days all at the same time. And when you do it with pretty good volume like you did here, and then we've already showed you these ABCD patterns all the way up, uh, that's telling you that, my goodness, uh, there might be a correction coming, maybe even two or three day correction coming in Apple. We don't know, but that's how it that's how it looks like. So that's a few of the things that we're watching with Apple. But that this products that these folks have, folks, this uh, video the augmented reality that Al was uh, re mentioning to me, it was amazing. You put on these headsets like virtual reality, and it literally expands your little tiny uh, 15 inch laptop into a hundred a hundred inch uh, or, or larger football size and it, it's incredible then you can interact with it and you can order things and oh oh my gosh it's just uh, I'm just totally amazed I've, they, the price now is thirty five hundred dollars of course when the finally when it finally does come out then we're going to be able to see you know what's happening but AI is in the news uh, everybody is talking about it but remember yesterday folks uh, we had uh, someone asking us about this uh, ETF. Uh, that, you know, they're they're clamping they're clamping down on Bitcoin today. But let me tell you who they should clamp down on. This is this WTAI. This is Wisdom's Tree Artificial Intelligence, folks. This has about as much to do with artificial intelligence as I do with uh, 
uh, looking at uh, point and figure charts. I mean, the, they have an NVIDIA's in this to the tune of about two and a half percent and a couple other small ones. But as far as uh, AI, no, not happening. No, it's not. And they're, I, it, I don't mind them putting it out here, but when they're putting commercials out here on how to get involved with AI, maybe this is stepping your toe in the water. That I don't know. But uh, this is not this is not good business. And then they come down really hard on Coinbase today for things that they had been doing for quite a while. Nothing, any difference. But let's take a look at Coinbase today, folks, because this is, this is a really, really cool-looking situation of what's going on in some of these things. So let's take a quick look here. We've got a lot of things to cover, so hopefully we'll be able to do them all together. But look at this Coinbase chart. And th 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 those of you that like ABCD and like Bitcoin, you must really love this one because look what's happened to this. There's your oh, – let's get that up here first, Larry, before we talk. Look at your ABCD pattern, folks. It measured here to 46. The low was 45.94, and we're trading uh, $6 higher already. Now, I know Gary Gensler used to work for Goldman Sachs, and he's a tech guy and everything. But I will tell you this right now. I'm not a betting man. But I will tell you this, these folks here at Coinbase have bucks behind them. There's no question about that. And they are going to have some pretty high-priced attorneys, not the $150 an hour variety that they have at the government or less. They're going to have the boys, you know, that wear the $10,000 suits, the guys that make $1,200 and $2,000 an hour. And I will bet you a nickel to a donut, and donuts are about a buck and a quarter now, that uh, this thing will uh, be rectified in favor of Coinbase. They've been doing this all along, and all of a sudden they came out with all of these rules or suggestions of what's going to happen. That's how the government puts a, you know, puts a kibosh on these things. But as long as we don't get below, below that 46 level we made today, this is a flat-out bullish chart because that's a perfect ABCD right there at 46. I didn't see it until just about a half hour ago when someone brought it to my attention. But that is a perfect Gartley right there. And the fact that it's acted so good from that level. Remember those uh, stocks in the, uh, the the banking sector that Jim Bartolioni passed out to or told us about? I mean, those hardly about, they haven't even made three, two retracements on those. And what did our government do? They verified everything in the doggone banking system no matter what the amount of money was on in the past books and stuff. I mean, they change the rules the way they want to. So that's what the government does. It's a government by the people, by the people, but not for the people. Who knows? We're going to pay, pay attention to this as we look at some of these things unfolding here today. We've got one other one that looks really interesting that we talked about last night on the video. And that is the uh, price of crude oil. Uh, it had set up today to uh, make it, this looks very similar to the ABCD that we had here uh, in Bitcoin. Uh, you'll notice that was Coinbase, folks, not it's Bitcoin related, but it's Coinbase. You'll notice that the 61% retracement came right in here at 7022. Uh, 7020 was the uh, uh, exact uh, 38, uh, 61% retracement with the ABCD, and we've already rallied uh, $2 and some to the 382 retracement. Hey, we got to pay a few bills here. 877-927-6648 uh, if you have any questions. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. 
Teddy Kegstaff breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 okay folks i posted a uh, chart of the green line is the ai uh my neural network uh, that was developed by uh, dennis regan uh, back in 1990 to 1991, he passed away in early 1992 and uh, left us with uh, no way of trying to figure this out. And we reverse en engineered it uh, with the best of our kids. It's not exactly the same, but very close to what he was doing. Basically what it is, it's looking at the vibrations of the market. I've told people how it works. Uh, some people use it, some people don't. It's just a matter of what time frame you're dealing with. But basically what it's basing on is Dennis found that there was a heartbeat. And we had a MIPS computer, folks. It means a, a computer that is mil millions of integers per second, a MIPS computer. They were around $6,000. They were made by Intel. And what they did is they crunched numbers. And as we crunch numbers, we start to see... Uh, this is part of those harmonic numbers that Twentyman came up with and myself and Bryce Gilmore, but uh, where numbers repeat over and over again. And they, they also repeat in time, but time is more elusive. And so what it was trying to do was to pi find special spots during the day where the markets were supposed to turn. And sometimes they just work absolutely beautiful. Today I showed you the one that we had on the bottom of the S&P and also the top. And then uh, we also had one on the gold market. I do crude oil, I do natural gas, I do the treasury bonds. But again, it's only about 60%. About everything that I look at is a little above 60%. But if you stop and think about that, folks, 60% in our business is pretty good because what we're trying to do is focus on the risk control of the trades that we're trying to figure out. 
That's all we're trying to do. Now, when you line this up with Fibonacci numbers and ABCD patterns, it also gives you another edge. That's a double edge, and that's what you like to see what's going on you know, in the world, okay? So that's, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Uh, uh, Dennis died very unexpectedly, and um, it was quite sad at that time, and it's just still sad because I think about him all the time. Probably one of the smartest people that I have ever met in my life. He spoke seven languages. He was a master. He had pictures of uh, President Reagan that had given him awards for the Tomahawk warhead missile. He's the one that developed that. Uh, when it came out of the water, out of the submarine, as soon as it got out of the water, it started searching for the uh, pattern that it was looking for. And what it did, it could identify the difference between a school and a hospital and stuff like that. I mean, it was really quite spectacular what he could do. Remember, this was this was 30 some years ago, so he was in, incredibly uh, incredibly bright. But anyway, um, someone just asked me a question about the Bitcoin, and I, I'll bring that. I don't trade Bitcoin. Uh, John Jameson is an expert in this, so anything I have to ask about is this. But let me get the chart up here, the longer term chart here of Bitcoin, because frankly, folks, this is probably a buying opportunity uh, for two different reasons. You remember, we, we completed the ABCD pattern in Coinbase. This is you know, that was really an easy one to see. But look at this. We're hanging right at the 382 retracement down here at 25,000. This is really strong support for two reasons. Look at this old high right back here. And there's your 382 coming in right here, 25,000. Now, if you close below 24,000, that's telling you that this pattern is broken. And it's going to go down a lot more. But this was also a 382 retracement off of 16,000. So that's why this is such a really important thing that's happening. And it's in the news. The government's out there. And uh, we'll see uh, how this thing uh, comes back to haunt uh, the losing side. The, my guess is they'll probably settle out of court because there's going to be a lot of money involved. And, of course, the government has more money than Coinbase. But Coinbase can afford to pay for higher priced attorneys more than the government. That's my uh, assumption anyway. Okay, now let's move on here. I wanted to talk a little bit about the German DAX. We're going to take a trip here across the pond because it's still acting like it's still go, still it's still having a, a rally formation here that you'll be able to see without too much trouble. And as long as we can hold these levels that we're looking at early today, we've got a chance to go higher. But we did make a 61% retracement and back off, but there's still that possibility that we could go higher here uh, in the German DAX. The next one we're going to look at here, folks, is going to be the FTSE, which looks a lot more bullish than the DAX because it had a tremendous rally. And if you can stop and think, uh, the, uh, the London Stock Exchange is basically stocks from all foreign countries. And you can see uh, what's happened here. We had a little bit of a back off here uh, at the 382 and has, has done very, very little. And then finally, I wanted to talk one more time uh, about this Dow Jones chart that we've been looking at because we've completed that Gartley pattern uh, that we made last Thursday down there at that 32,227 level. And there it is right there. We had a really strong rally. It, it didn't get hardly any above the, uh, just a little above 33,800. I believe it was 33,056 or something like that, which was just a shade above the 78% retracement. And it's backed off about 300 points since that time so that's still in the formation of it could go either way and uh, what we're still concerned about more than anything else was this big ABCD pattern that we have here in the S&P that has not been violated uh, the highest we got was uh, 3208 or something like that and we were saying the short was around uh, 4296 with a 20 point stop it hasn't come close to that yet right now it's in the money very slightly, but uh, it's still got that potential to fill. But it hasn't really broken down much. So that in itself gives you a what we call a danger sign because usually when usually when these hit, they back off right away. And this has not done that. It's gone up here and hung higher. One of two things is happening. It's taking its time to make a new high and has not or it's just making a distribution at this level. Remember, 
Uh, we made new highs in the NASDAQ, and we've actually had the Russell breakout today, which no one really has talked very much about it on Bloomberg. I was really surprised because we talked about that ABCD pattern in the Russell yesterday here on the air, and uh, we made it today up there at uh, uh, 1860. It went right to the number, uh, to the exact number, actually, which was an ABCD 50% retracement and uh, right at the 50% uh, ABCD, as I just mentioned. So those are the things that we're keeping an eye on here today. If you give me one second here, I've got one other thing that I need to check on. And, but we're going to do that when we come back from the break because I've only got about another uh, 36 seconds or so. Tomorrow's guest will be Jeff Huge of uh, Alpha Insights. Uh, he's always got some great information. And when we get back from a break, we're going to talk about the gold market and also the grain markets. We'll be right back, folks. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back. And I wanted to uh, bring to your attention the gold because we had a 382 retracement last Thursday up there at uh, 1998, uh, 96. Uh, and it broke down to, uh, we covered it at 62. We made $3,300 on that. And the reason why we were covering it is the fact that 
it had stopped at a very significant spot on the charts. And then what I suggested, and I'll show you why trading can be so doggone frustrating, even though you sometimes break even, here is the chart of the gold. You can see here where we covered it last night, uh, yesterday was when it took out that high right there. That's the first time it was able to do that. We shorted it right there. We covered it right there. And uh, you can see we went right up to the exact 61% retracement at 82, 1982. We broke all the way down to 1972. That's $1,000. When that happened, I, in the video that I sent out reviewing the positions that we had, and we had three positions on today, short stocks, of course, uh, the S&P, we were long the natural gas, it was doing quite well, and we were short the gold. So I said, put the stop back at break even, because after you're ahead a thousand dollars, it went right back to it, and it's trading there right now, because I can hear the beeper going off. So I don't don't know if that's the right thing to do or not, but folks, you know I'm I'm risk averse. You know I don't like to stand in front of a train and uh, ask the flagman to uh, stop the train because it takes about two and a half miles to stop a train. Anyway, that's what we're looking at here. You'll be able to see here uh, what's going on uh, with that right now. By the way, uh, I don't know if you know the news yesterday. The Treasury is getting ready to issue a one trillion dollars worth of uh, T-bills. Of course, we've been out of T-bills for quite some time as the debt crisis has been coming. So in these next few weeks and months, the Fed will be printing paper to the tune of one trillion dollars. How will that affect the market? I'm not sure. Usually when you bring out a lot of supply, that causes, uh, you know, the uh, demand to go lower unless you get it at a good price. And I don't think it's a good price where we are here. Folks, I believe we are looking at higher interest rates for the next five to eight years. I don't believe we'll ever see 2% uh, mortgages and stuff like that anymore, at least in my lifetime. But, you know, that's not saying a whole, much, a whole lot. Anyway, that's how I handled the uh, gold trade because I wanted to make sure – that we didn't miss anything as far as uh, losing money after being ahead. Your goal is to try to make money every week. You don't make money every day, but we do make money just about every week. And that's the main thing of why we're doing some of these things. Now, I wanted to uh, bring to, you, to your attention something that just happened here just a little while ago. Uh, this is from the Sunday newsletter that we sent out. And uh, we'll bring this up here. That'll be changing, too, by the way. Get this up here. You'll see this was the uh, hogs. You remember we had this uh, trade in the hogs where we, we lost a point here in hogs. And it went down uh, quite a bit more. And now we've rallied up supposedly to the high of the day here, which is the 3A2 going back here for the last three and a half months. Folks, hogs are up right now. The July hogs are up to this level right now. We just hit it just a while ago. They're up 300 points at the 3A2 retracement. Now, this was sent out Sunday saying that that probably should happen. Now, I I didn't say sell hogs here or anything like that. I brought this to your attention to show you that's the level where you want to look at. Just like this level was a 3A2 retracement, this level is a 3A2 retracement. I can't put eight or nine different positions on here for the 24-7 people because many of them are smaller traders. I give them ideas of, you know, where to look like, uh, whether it's crude oil or whether it's a treasury bond, I'll give them an idea of what to look for. But do a specific one, I'll give a specific buy and a specific sell, and it's usually related to the A, B, C, D patterns that line up perfectly. That's the main thing. I wanted one a perfect example today would have been this Russell. This Russell came exactly to the level of 160. I don't know where it's trading right now, but this would be one of those that would be right on the money of what you want to be looking at. And that was coming in at 160 on the Russell contract that is now trading at 52. So the high has been 64 and the low is 52. So right now it's got an eight-point profit in it. And that's all we're looking at as to see how that wants to operate from that level. Also, folks, I mentioned yesterday, you know, we have this huge, huge pattern here in the uh, – cattle this is beef folks and i i eat beef probably three times a day it's not quite that bad a couple times a week for sure and i love my favorite here in arizona is cowboy bacon it's about a half inch thick 
and it's got uh, apple apple wood flavor. Oh my goodness! One strip of bacon, folks, is is a whole meal. That's how that's how really cool it is. Anyway, this is the cattle chart, and you can see this monster double top that we have here. Cattle prices have not been this high since night uh, two, 2014. I can't believe I'm saying this. I've been in this business. I put my first trade on in 1959, for God's sake, September of 59. How how many years is that? That's more than 10 years. That's eight decades, for God's sake. We've got a, oh, our, you talk about Mr. Lucky hitting the lottery. We got Mr. Z from Philly on the line. John, how are you today? Larry, I'm uh, I'm doing very well. I, uh, I'm glad you were uh, keeping everybody abreast of the uh, bear market and those hog futures going into last in a week, maybe two ago, and uh, I just took a nice little profit after holding a contract the past couple of days, and uh, lo and behold, I hadn't even pulled out the daily chart to see that the uh, spot where I took the uh, took the gain was right up at your uh, 3A2, so thanks for that. Well, you're welcome, buddy. Tell us what you know about corn. I'm trying to buy it, but they just keep pushing it higher, so I'm waiting. we got a report coming out here on Friday the 9th. I think it's a trade... Uh, Grain trade report, Rich told me. So, what do you what do you think is going to happen here? Well, Larry, I'm uh, I'm calling to ask you how you handle uh, something in particular. Uh, first, um, I'm uh, holding long, took partial profits a week ago Sunday on on a nice move up. We pulled back last week, and now we're uh, you know higher this week. And, of course, the rally off that low maybe uh, two, three weeks ago, as you well know, was a lot of uh, shorts who were pressing the bear case, covering those shorts. Yes. And, and of course, um, much of the Corn Belt has gone very dry uh, since about May 10th. Now, the reason corn hasn't just truly exploded, of course, it, it's rally, yes, but in the big scheme of things, you can look at that these contract on the daily chart going back six months, maybe a year. We can see it's a bounce. Um, whether or not uh, or what happens the next 30 days is going to be dependent upon whether or not this dry stretch extends. Mm -hmm. uh, and what I can share with you, I, I found very interesting when I went back into the studies, Larry, this year's action in new crop corn futures that these contract in the past six months into a May low was very similar to what happened in 2012 and 13. Can you stay with us for the break, my friend? <laughs> I can. I heard the music. Uh, thank you very much. We'll be back with Mr. Z from Philly, folks. Stay tuned. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. 
These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're talking with Mr. Z, John, from uh, Philadelphia. John, are you in Philadelphia or are you in Wisconsin? I'm in the latter, Larry. Oh, I figured you'd like that kind of weather this time of the year. Listen, I posted the chart here, uh, the daily chart of uh, Christmas corn, and you can see uh, we've been at the 382 level now for three days. So uh, if it's – and this is a bear market, as you can see. We've been going down for months. So – my assumption is this should be some type of a top, and we should get a little bit of a pullback. That's what I'm looking for. The uh, the big money in the trade is very focused on uh, one or two outcomes, and, of course, only Mother Nature knows which. Uh, one outcome is that this dry patch that's been going on now for, oh, four weeks gives away to rains that start emerging in about seven days' time. If so, uh, the 2013 analogy probably is in force where we're topping right at your 382 and then go down and bust 490, possibly going down, you know, into 450 in the harvest. The other scenario wow. is Mother Nature doesn't give, give the rains that uh, are forecast to occur seven to 10 days out and something more akin to some variant of the 2012 type of drought uh, is unfolding. And uh, in that event, um, uh, we could have an explosive rally based upon smaller crop size. So my question, Larry, is, of course, you don't know and I don't know which outcome is. But in the events that we get that uh, no rain scenario forthcoming, you know, looking out 7 to 14 days, and price starts to explode higher. Question for you, given your decades and decades of trading experience, how do you handle that? I call you, John, and ask you what to do. <laughs> hey, listen, you're as, you're as good as this that I am. Actually, the best way to handle it is, if it is going to be a weather market, it's probably going to gap above the 3A2 on some uh, either overnight or a weekend or something like that. And if it does that, and you really believe that that's what's going to happen, you just got to buy it because your stop would be below the 382. In other words, if it breaks out, it's got to continue. So if it breaks out and it comes back below that 382, I would have nothing to do with it. But if it does break out, and I'm I'm not talking about a two or three cent you know, breakout. I'm talking about 10, 15, maybe even 20 cents. Uh, the higher, the better, because if it's really high, that means they've trapped some of these commercials that are so very, very bearish. And we've seen this, if you remember, back in, well, uh, this was happened to Cook Rain, you know, back in 1975 and 76. They were extremely bearish, and they were right. The problem was corn and beans rallied 3 and $4 a bushel before it finally went down, and they went bankrupt because they stayed short till they ran out of money, and you, you just can't do that. So 
gapping above the 382, which in these corn would be right here at about 655. If we gap above that, that'll be the first indication that, yep, this thing might be ready to go, and then I'll have to handle it on a basically hour by hour uh, way to look at it. Because I I'm I'm not just going to buy the breakout and say if it goes back below it again, it's got to keep running because I I don't like to fool around, especially this market's bearish for heaven's sakes. Yeah, Larry, I've uh, just that very point. I learned that long ago. Uh, the idea if you're chasing, you know, chasing, uh, doing a chasing buy. Um, and uh, uh, lots of people in the Tiger's Den see me do this uh, on very short-term stuff. If I do a chasing buy, I've got very specific parameters that I'm going for <clears throat> when we're breaking above prior highs, for example. But uh, I do so always with this thought in mind, Risking little if it if it uh, abruptly reverses on me. So uh, I'm with you on that idea that uh, sure chasing buys are warranted in certain conditions, but you uh, you got to see them move in your favor kind of quickly, uh, you know, to uh, warrant staying with it. So yeah, um, so we're of like minds sure. on that. Well, I can remember one of my best mentors in soybeans was uh, Dave Nelson, who worked with uh, Sibbett and Hattity back in Pasadena back in the uh, late 60s and early 70s. Twentyman and I were uh, uh, students of his, and he said, uh, we bought chasing markets. He says, well, you've been chasing women. He said, how would that work out for you? And I said, well, I guess it must be the same way for the uh, – for the corn and the beans and the other things. So I don't like to chase them, but uh, once in a while you got to chase that bus down because there might not so, be another one going for a while. So, Larry, let me ask you this. Uh, Sarah, Toronto, Hong Kong, was that a case of uh, buying uh, buying the pullbacks? No. Uh, it's a, The family has got some things. That my, I, my son-in-law, you know, he's in Philadelphia that runs the Parkinson's Institute and Alzheimer's uh, unit for the University of Pennsylvania Medical School. He's, he's well, he's asked to go everywhere for speaking because he's, he's really quite one of the top people in the field. And so he's been, uh, they've asked him to do a sabbatical in uh, Barcelona and then also in London. And then the family wants to go to Hong Kong. They're going to do some remodeling on uh, the house. Uh, and then uh, their sister's going to meet and some other family stuff. So I'm going to be home. I'll be. I'm going to probably meet him over there. It depends upon you know how the, tra the air traffic is and how I'm feeling. But I don't. I don't like to fight the airports anymore, John. You know, I, I, I you know, I just don't. So I, it's just a question of whether I'm going to do it or not. But uh, it's uh, it's going to be fun. I, I enjoy my alone time. But I talk to him every day. I videos. You know, they were always on video chatting about what's going on and all the things that are happening in the family. But. Uh, they are taking a little bit of sabbatical, and I just didn't want to. Uh, it's just too hard to get all the data. I mean, I, and I'm busy doing this stuff. You know, I love this is what I love to do. I I don't get to play golf with Tiger Woods, and I don't want to play golf with Tiger Woods. I'd rather sit here and chat with you about the corn market, for God's sake. You know, so that's what I like to do. At least you have the uh, luxury of being able to say you played against Tommy John in high school. Yeah, I sure did. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was back in the old days. But uh, trading has been good to me, you know, just like it has to you, John. I mean, we've been very lucky. You know, I'm going to be 80, 83 here pretty soon, and I've been doing this since 59. That's a long time. That's 64 years, for crying out loud. And I'm enjoying it as much now as the very first day that I did it, when I bought that stock, Elastic Stop Nut, ESN. And, uh, Excellent um, stretch, know. Larry. Excellent stretch. Yeah. Just, uh, just in parting, I'll just share this with you. I had bought. Uh, I didn't get these corn down at the four ninety. I grabbed it at five eleven. I took partial profits up at thirty five, holding the rest. And um, so I'm prepared to uh, see that uh, unrealized gain on what I didn't sell evaporate to nothing if the bear case unfolds and. If uh, if the rains don't come seven to ten days hence and we start to surge, well, I'll just add to that winning position. So that's, that's right. the way I'm going to handle and see what happens. I am too. As soon as I find out that it clears that, uh, well, basically 660 in Christmas corn, I'll say, okay, there's something different now. And if I can find a place, I might have to buy at a higher price, 
but at least I know what my risk is going to be because I have not had a historically good record of buying breakouts, so I've got to be careful. Hey, John, thanks Thank for joining us, buddy. Bye, we really appreciate it. John Chevney, folks, go to him to the Tiger Den. He's one of the real jewels of TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we've got the stocks drifting lower still. Uh, Russell is now down 10 points from its uh, ABCD spot that we looked at. Uh, the other thing is, is bonds are continuing to weaken. But remember, we're going to have a big auctions coming up of a, billion, a trillion dollars in T-bills. These are T-bills that we haven't been able to have in our treasury for a while. So now that they have the debt thing done, they can print as much as they like, and that's going to be coming to market. And, folks, that is not going to make interest rates go lower, folks. When you sell that much stuff, you got to discount it, and that means interest rates are going to be higher and I don't think that's going to be good for stocks, but you know they go separately sometimes, and that's pretty much. Uh, uh, someone oh, someone asked about uh, the reentry in the gold market, if, folks. If you're if you're following the six one eights like we do, and they go up there and they just tit, they just kiss those numbers. In other words, the number of the high of the day is um, nineteen eighty two ninety, and it goes to nineteen eighty two three. 
1983, and it doesn't go any higher than a dollar or so, that's just that was just people fishing for stops because they know where these stops are out there. They're not going looking for them. They have assumption of where they are. But, you know, everybody, have, we have such great data now. Remember, when I did this, we had to do all this stuff by hand. We didn't have data like this till 1983. Yeah, I know that was 40 years ago, but by golly, about that, back in those days, all we had was a Reuters machine, and we had to keep it by hand. So you just got to be, be really careful. The thing is, is when they go smashing through the 61% retracement by 3 or $4 in gold, that's a lot. And then you know you're probably wrong. But I'm I'm just basically risk averse. That's all I'm doing. If I got the, the S&P working, if I got the, the natural gas working, and I had gold working, uh, and those were the, the main uh, crude oil working, if I had all those working nicely for me, why do I want to expose myself to any risk? And that's really what I'm looking at. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have Jeff Huge as our guest tomorrow. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Mm -hmm.